given i am dhirash tatar system professor in the chemical engineering department of lg it amdavad in this lecture i am going to start new topic of the computer aided process synthesis so let's start chapter name is design and scheduling of batch processes and topic is multiple product batch plant so you can see on the screen multiple product batch plant in previous lecture i explain you single product batch plant so you can see on the screen multiple product batch plant to understand this concept you should know what is the meaning of batch plant and semi batch plant i told you in previous lectures as well if you want to take out or put anything during the reaction you will use semi batch plant but in batch plant we cannot put or we cannot take out anything during the reaction so you can see now multiple product batch plant this plant is divided into the two sub parts first one is flow shop plant and second one is job shop plant and this is the figure for multiple product batch plant now i will discuss with you flow shop plant and job shop plant so we will see now important points related to the multiple product batch plant first point is in a flow shop plant all products require all stages following the same sequence of operation suppose there are multiple products for example product a product b and product c all these products are similar in nature means all these are required same number of stages stages means multiple operations for example mixing drying and centrifuge so all these products require same number of stages and same sequence for the flow shop plant and second point is related to the job shop plant this is a completely opposite to the flow shop plant in this plant all products not require same number of stages and same sequence okay and next point is according to this plant the greater the similarity in the products means suppose products are similar in nature for that purpose we will go for the flow shop plant because similar products require similar number of stages and similar sequence but suppose the products are not similar in nature at that time we will go for the job shop plant because different products requires different number of stages and different sequences and last point is flow shop plant also known as the multi product plant and job shop plant also known as the multi purpose plant multiple purpose require multiple sequences and different number of stages that's why it is known as the multi purpose multiple purpose means we are requiring different number of stages and different sequences but multiple product means we are requiring same number of stages and same sequences for all similar products that's why flow shop plant is known as the multi product plant and job shop plant that is nothing but multi purpose plant because we are requiring their different sequences and different number of stages so this is all about flow shop plant and job shop plant now we will see important diagrams for the flow shop plant and job shop plant so first figure is flow shop plant according to this figure there are different products such as product a product b and product c 1 2 3 and 4 these are nothing but number of stages and all these arrows represent sequences so according to flow shop plant we know that all products are similar in nature and requires same number of stages and requires same sequence so you can see here in this figure all products product a product b and product c all requires same number of stages see all these products require same number of stages that is nothing but number of stages are four and all these products require same sequences now we will see diagram for the job shop plant so you can see on the screen this is the figure for job shop plant here we are having four stages and three products but all these three products are not similar in nature not similar in nature means this is a multi purpose plant and these products require different number of stages and different sequences so according to this plant you can see on the screen product a require four number of stages product b require only three number of stages and product c having different sequences so this is nothing but definition for job shop plant where we are requiring different number of stages and different sequences that's why it is known as the multi purpose plant and flow shop plant require same number of stages and having similar products and having similar sequences that's why it is known as multi product plant 
now we will see some important points related to the flow shop plant so you can see on the screen first point is another important issue in a flow shop plants is the type of production campaign that is used for the manufacturing a pre specified number of batches for the various products so according to product campaign you can see on the screen first one is spc and second one is mpc spc is stands for single product campaign and mpc stands for the mixed product campaign so what is the meaning of this you can see on the screen now now we will see spc that is nothing but single product campaign so in this campaign all batches of given product are manufactured before switching to another product for example there are different products product a product b and product c and there are different batches for all these products means all batches for a product are manufacturing first after that all batches for b products are manufacturing first now after that we are switching to another product that is nothing but product c means here first we are forming batches of all product a after that we are forming batches of product b and after that we are switching to another product that is a c that is nothing but example for the single product campaign in which we are dealing with individual components means in, means in this campaign all batches of given products are manufactured before switching to another product so you can see this is the example of single product campaign we are forming batches for a product after that after completion of the production of component a we are moving to another product that is component b after completion of the production of product b we are moving to the another product that is a c but that is not similar to the mpc that is a mixed product campaign according to this campaign you can see on the screen in this campaign all batches of given product are not manufactured before switching to another product means in this campaign we can switch to another product before completion of the previous product suppose we are producing component a but we are having one good sequence to produce b then we can go for the b we are not going for the batches of component a that is we are forming in the single product campaign where we are forming batches of individual components but we are not forming batches in the mixed product campaign means here we can switch to another product before completion of the first product that is nothing but in this way we are forming ab ab or ac ac okay so in a single product campaign we are forming batches of the so in a single product campaign we are forming batches of the individual component then we are switching to another component but in a mixed product campaign we can switch another component before the <coughs> but in a mixed product campaign we can switch to another component before the complete production of the previous component so this is all about the product campaign so in this manner we can write down single product campaign and mixed product campaign this question whole question related to the multiple product batch plant can be asked for 7 marks and only related to the flow shop plant question can be asked for 5 marks where we have to explain what is the meaning of flow shop plant and also explain product campaign that is nothing but spc and mpc so spc is nothing but single product campaign and mpc is nothing but mixed product campaign so this is all about this lecture we'll see next topic in the next lecture thank you very much